So when <clears throat> when Channel Seven came in here, they gave us all intentions and you know, perceived us that they were going to write a, uh, a positive story about yep. us to put down underbelly. A spoiler story is, for example, so you know when the block does really well on Channel Nine. So what then Channel Seven go out there and do is go and then interview all the contestants and say, is there anything that pissed you off? Terry's underbelly has been accused of exploiting its actors by using drug addicts and former criminals as extras. You're turning that on. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just doing their job. Don't let news stories worry you. They make shit up. And Danny Tillett fit right in. A few months after leaving jail, he started a career as an actor and scored a role on the show. It's good. Covering addicts shouldn't be allowed in the industry. Um, how dare we use real life people and they're just trying to get some sort of story out there. So if, if The Biggest Loser rates really well or MasterChef rates really well on Channel 10, then Channel 9 or Channel 7 will come out and say, you turn that on. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Be wise as thou art cruel. Do not press my tongue tied patience with too much disdain. You're denying the simple and wonderful fact that you are vulnerable, you're emotional, and you are alive. Can you honestly stand there and tell me that I mean nothing to you? Do you want to know what I really think? You sure? I couldn't give a fuck. Hearing these thoughts, myself, almost despising. I think you've successfully bred the next generation of fuckwit, and um... Oh, you silly bitch. Fuck, I feel sorry for you. I really fucking do. I know what you want to hear. Deep in despair. You think I don't care, but you're wrong. Yeah. 